hopefully we love data tables by the end of this lesson. But it's a little tricky to create a data table, let's say in Worksheet 2, where the inputs and formulas are in Worksheet 1. So let's show you a clumsy, but it does work workaround to this problem. So here we have in Worksheet Basic A, we've got a price of a bond, and we have the number of years, and then, uh, sorry, this is what a bond pays in this many years, and this is what the value would be today. So you would take, in this case, 150, if we just got a 4% a year, divided by 1.04 to the 40th. And that would be the, uh, the value of the bond, that that's the coupon we get in 40 years. So you'd like to do a sensitivity analysis on how, when you change the duration, and when you change the, uh, the coupon, the value in today's dollars of that bond changes. And so basically, if you try and do a data table in Worksheet B and point to this stuff here, you're going to have trouble. So there is a workaround to this, and this is examples due to a great guy, Michel Chabet of Paris, who's read a lot of our books and is, has provided a lot of good feedback on our books. Okay, so the way we would do this, okay, we're going to have the data table down here, but you know, to, oh, so we put the inputs right here. So the duration here will be the row input cell, and the coupon will be the column input cell, and basically, see, we feed those into here by pointing to what's in Worksheet uh, Basic B. Okay, and then we do the calculations here. And then, in a tricky fashion, the out, we do the, so we do the whole model in Worksheet Basic A. Okay, so the inputs are going to be here, and they're fed into, they're in, the inputs are in Basic B, they get fed into Basic A. Basic A computes the formula, and then we throw that back into basic B by pointing to the output cell in basic A. So our output cell here is going to be this thing here, but it really, it's in the same worksheet nominally, but the work is in basic A. And so the row input would be the years in the future we get the coupon, and the price would be the value of the coupon. And that shows you as basically the years, more years in the future we get that coupon, the less it's worth. And the bigger the coupon, the more it's worth. So again, we can create a, we can get around this artificial uh, limitation of Excel that sort of says you have to have the data table in the same worksheet as your inputs and your formulas by this little trick. Again, thanks to Michelle Chabet for this great idea. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.